a little, uh, I guess, surreal moment where I get to enjoy the last few days or whatever with the two dogs before I never get to see them again and never get to see the house that I was a part of. My uh, fiance and I split up. Look at that dog. Yeah. In the sun, hanging out. Yeah, we uh, look at you. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, we uh, split up after five years, and it's kind of rough because I don't know. I just inherited my, or not inherited. I just invested my entire life into this dream of we got the house got the pups having fun living life and just to be told i don't really care about you and i've been pretending for a year and i just don't know what to do i don't care and your dreams are kind of boring and i don't fit in with them and i don't know it just sucks it just really sucks because like I said, it's been five years together, and then, you know, it's just five years gone. That's my, uh, that's the one thing I did like about the house. It's hard, to, you might be able to see it in the frame rate, but it's a little leaf fan for the backyard. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, dude, I'm at a loss with what to do. Cause I didn't really keep anything in savings cause she always had the savings for it. And I just took care of bills, but I don't have anything left. And I don't technically own anything cause it's just, I have my own truck. I have my computer and I've got my phone and some clothes and that's about it. We went 50, 50 on a bed. I can't just cut a bed in half. 50-50 on a couch, can't just cut a couch in half, so it just kind of sucks. I think the worst part is just leaving the dogs. I mean, I guess the worst part actually is just finding out that it's just, you thought you found the one and you were ready to settle down and now you're going to be, or I mean, you're 25 and zero dollars to your name aside from the remaining balance of your paycheck and nowhere to go and nothing to do no family anywhere nearby and no one that you really know to kind of be like hey can i just crash on your couch for a bit so shit's just kind of rough i don't know what the moral of the story is i don't know what the life lesson is like to think that you can find someone you can trust forever but I don't know I guess it is what it is I hope I can watch this video again in like five years and be like yeah dude don't worry everything went good but I don't know we'll see we'll see I don't know maybe it's my own fault for the well